Hello and welcome to The 101. My name is Kerry Whip and today I'm talking to you about the beautiful gemstone that is sapphire. Now sapphire has long had associations with mystery, romance and also royalty, but did you know it's also considered to be a good luck charm? So where does it get its name from? Sapphire actually gets its name from the Latin word sapphirus and also from the Greek word sapphiros. They're quite similar, aren't they? But essentially they both just mean blue. Uh, some also believe that sapphire also gets its name from the planet Saturn. For over a thousand years, this beautiful gemstone has long had associations with royalty. In fact, Prince Charles actually bought an engagement ring for Princess Diana in the 1980s, and this was made of Ceylon sapphire. In fact, this ring is now one of the most important and famous rings in the whole world, and has since been passed on to Kate Middleton by Prince William. Sapphires are unearthed in countries as far afield as Madagascar, Australia, Thailand, and also China but the most highly regarded sapphires actually come from Sri Lanka, which is often referred to as Gem Island. Sapphire has a rich, illustrious history and one incredible love story featuring none other than King Edward VIII and American socialite Wallace Simpson. Wallace Simpson was actually going through her second divorce when she became embroiled in a hugely controversial relationship with King Edward VIII. Edward desired to marry Wallace, which threatened to cause constitutional crisis in the United Kingdom. So instead, Edward chose to abdicate his throne and married Simpson on the 3rd of June in 1937. Edward lavished Wallace with jewellery including diamonds, emeralds and rubies. However, Wallace always maintained that her favourite gemstone was sapphire. In fact, she had her clothes specially tailored in order to display a sapphire bracelet that was designed by Van Cleef and Arpels. Now, sapphire belongs to the corundum gemstone family, which also includes rubies. So why do sapphires and rubies differ so much in colour? Well, simply put, it's just down to the impurities held within the stone. The red of a ruby is in fact due to the presence of chromium, and the blue of the sapphire is due to titanium and iron. In fact, corundum comes in a rainbow of different colours, which are dependent upon the impurities found within. This includes lots of different colours ranging from colourless, violet, green, yellow, and even pink. In fact, to top it off, some even display pleochroism, meaning that they exhibit a colour change phenomenon. If that wasn't already incredible enough, corundum is also amongst the hardest of gemstones, measuring a number 9 on the Mohs scale, placing it second only to diamonds. If you were born in September, then this gorgeous gemstone is in fact your birthstone. I love it just because I think it's got a wonderful, wonderful history and it's just fascinating to read about. If you've enjoyed this edition of The 101, please remember to subscribe. My name is Kerry Whip, and I'll see you next time.